Let's bring in presidential candidate, Dr. Jill Stein, who joins us now live. Dr. Stein, thank you very much for being here with me today. Great to be with you. All right, let's get your reaction to the former president's comments. Women's issues were a target for Trump this week, claiming IVF would be free under his presidency. Also commenting on whether six weeks is enough when it comes to abortions. His uh, comments certainly making a lot of headlines. I want to know whether or not you think the former president is going about this topic the right way. Well, <laughs> he has a lot of damage to repair, that's for sure. Um, you know, it's clear that uh, American women are not going to uh, back off on on our rights to full reproductive health care. And it should be that simple. Uh, our campaign has been fighting for health care as a human right for everyone comprehensively, and that includes reproductive care uh, with those decisions to be made between a woman and her health care provider. Uh, you know, Reproductive care should be part of a system of comprehensive health care. As a medical doctor myself, you know, I'm very aware we cannot separate off our different organ systems. We are one, uh, one whole human being, and we deserve full health care uh, across all of our basic human needs. And, you know, it's clear women are not going to uh, accept uh, a retrenchment on this. Right. Uh, we very much demand our full reproductive rights. Well, this month, uh, I want to switch gears to talk about just this election as a whole. Uh, it's a month that feels like a year. We also saw your fellow third party candidate, Robert F. Kennedy, suspend his campaign, putting his support instead behind former President Donald Trump. Did you have any conversations with your fellow third party candidate about this decision? And if not, what do you make of it now that it's already said and done? So, um, no, I, I did not have uh, conversations. I have sought conversations with RFK uh, many times over the course of the past year, and he has not been uh, interested. Uh, let me just say that I think the framing here is not third party versus, you know, mainstream establishment. Uh, the question is whether campaigns and candidates are being sponsored by big money donors, whether they are creatures of corporate donations. And let me just say that Chris Cuomo's reporting from the DNC, that short clip that he had about the corporate, the ring of corporate suites that was really driving the dynamics, uh, that was the most valuable reporting, I think, for the whole DNC, pointing to what it is really that is the driver, not only of the Democratic and the Republican parties. This is what voters are sick of. This is what voters very much want an alternative to. So personally, I don't frame it as third parties. I frame it as uh, independent parties. That is independent of the money of billionaires and corporations. Unfortunately, RFK has always been within that system. That's where he started. That's where he continued. He accepts, for example, victory funds, which are a big loophole by which a single donor can write one check for a million dollars and it gets uh, laundered basically right back to the presidential campaign. So, you know, pretending to be a reformer when you're basically immersed in the swamp, I think it just doesn't uh, carry the day. So I think RFK's decision to go back into uh, the Republican Party to basically merge with the duopoly that he was going to be fighting, I think it's a disappointment to those who have been, you know, uh, thinking that any third party is alike. No, there are corporate third parties, which are basically the same. And then there are people powered parties, which is what uh, our campaign is about and what I think the American voters are really demanding. Well, I'm glad you brought up your campaign. I want to ask you about where it currently stands. I mean, when you look at it from a larger perspective, a lot of people, uh, political pundits calling you a spoiler for VP Kamala Harris in this race. What do you say to those critics? And what do you believe is your place in this presidential race? Well, I think the American people have made clear that they want other choices. Uh, they have felt that from the very beginning. Remember, in 2020, one out of every three eligible voters chose not to vote for the two mainstream corporate-sponsored billionaire uh, banker uh, big money sponsored candidates and parties that are continue to be rammed down our throats while the American people are really hurting. We have a health care emergency. We have a housing emergency. Half of all renters are uh, really struggling, severely financially stressed. We need real solutions like a national program of rent control and a major uh, program of building uh, so-called social housing, previously called public housing. 
Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.